Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TechMart. Wishing you all are doing good. In my last video, I demonstrate, demonstrate uh, how we can use uh, API key uh, with the help of client ID and the client secret and we can uh, restrict for unauthorized uh, user which are not passing the correct client ID and the client secret. So, uh, a, a recap of like uh, the API I created here and I was using a security definition. In the security definition, I was using client ID and the client secret and here in the security, I am using those securities headers. Okay and i was able to access my apis with the help of uh, the headers client id and the client secret okay uh, in in my today topic i'll use uh, another kind of uh, security that will be oauth so uh, in the oauth we have to create the providers and we have to allow some uh, grant types okay and some uh, <coughs> supported client types and uh, I will go uh, go through one by one. So I'll start. I'll show you uh, from the beginning how we have to create the oath provider. Okay. So uh, let's go to uh, API Connect. In the API Connect, we'll go to resources. In the resources, first we need to create an uh, oath provider. Okay. So we'll come here. Uh, I'll create one. Uh, so we can create here are two option net, native auth provider that is uh, inbuilt auth provided by the data power or if you want to use third party auth provider like uh, auth provided by the Facebook, Twitter, uh, any other auth provider. Okay, we, we can use for that. But as of now, I'll use native auth provider. Okay, uh, so here I'll give a title that I'll use for my lab. Okay, uh, here uh, we have to mention the base path. Okay, I'll give lab oh, Okay, uh, here we have option uh, we have to use uh, that uh, a gateway type. A gateway type could be V5 compatible or uh, V10. Okay, so here I'll use uh, data power API gateway that which uh, that will use for the version V10. Okay. So next, uh, here first time uh, to access the token, we'll use this URL, okay? And if you want to authorize the token, in that case, we can use this one. So for my today uh, demo, I'll use uh, the support grant type as application, okay? Not the access code. Here, I'll use the client type as confidential, okay? Uh, as per your use case, you have to select the supported grant type okay and on behalf of that automatically it will change the option will change here like uh, in the implicit automatically we can see that we can uh, use the public client types as well okay so here i'll use only application so i'll use confidential type okay uh, here we have to uh, mention the name of your scope that we will use uh, while accessing our api so here i'm mentioning lab okay So it will give all, uh, it will show you all the configuration you did for this, like uh, base path, okay, which gateway we will use, okay, authorized path, uh, token path, okay, and what will be the grant types, okay, and the supported client types, okay. So we have to click on finish, okay. Now we'll go to uh, the catalog, okay, and the catalog we have to. Uh, select that uh, auth provider otherwise we can't use that uh, catalog okay we can't use that auth provider here we'll go to the auth provider okay edit uh, we have to select lab auth okay earlier i created one test auth uh, but now we created the lab auth so we have to select that one otherwise we can't use that uh, auth provider as i mentioned earlier okay so uh, after that we have to uh, go to the actual api where we'll use this auth provider okay so uh, i have one uh, api uh, in the security definition we have to add that auth okay 
so here we have to mention auth okay we can give a name like auth here okay uh, here are two we can see the two auth provider one is lab auth and another with the test auth but we'll use lab auth for this demo and the flow will be the application flow okay and this will be the uh, url to get the token okay and here the scope is lab okay i'll i'll save this one okay uh, as i uh, told you in my last video that after adding the security definition we have to select them in the security otherwise uh, we will not we will not able to use that security definitions okay so here auth and we have to uh, first we need to check auth and uh, later we have to check the scope also okay uh, and then we have to click on save okay uh, after that uh, we have to uh, publish uh, the product so we will go to develop here we will go to the product step here we need to publish it publish with the preview subscription okay and we have to go to the sandbox catalog okay. and publish it okay uh, now if we'll uh, as we have uh, <coughs> configured auth for this api we'll try to get that api uh, try to access uh, the api we'll get the 401 unauthorized okay and it will give you the message cannot pass the security checks that are required by the target api or the operations okay so for that what we need to do uh, first uh, we'll go to the body part in the body part we need to pass uh, the scope and the grant type okay so we'll write here scope okay uh, just make sure we have to check that x ww form url encoded okay so here scope scope we have mentioned lab okay and here we need to mention grant underscore types okay so grant type would be our client underscore credentials okay uh, this is one thing and uh, next we have to go to authorization tab here we have to select the basic auth okay and here need we need to pass the client id and the client secret okay uh, for the same uh, app uh, we are using to access the api so we will we'll use the same credential to access uh, the auth token okay so we will use this one okay and this is the body headers okay authorization okay and send uh okay uh, what is the missed here okay no no uh, sorry not here uh, we have to uh, create an oath okay not here not in this ebay sorry uh, my bad so what i'll do i'll remove from here okay no oath and here the body will not use this one okay save header is fine okay so uh, i'll create one request i'll copy this one okay i'll create a new one okay and uh, for this the method type will be the post okay. here uh, path will be lab lab auth okay and here we have to define the body scope and the client client credential scope will be lab okay and the client credential will be uh, sorry we have to mention the basic or okay and basic or headers 
header we need to pass the header okay take no i think we don't uh, need to pass the header because the authorization will pass those values okay so uh, we are here authorization we passed it okay Boolean here okay uh lab auth or token let me check the url of this get our token okay so uh, we got the token here and we can say token type is bearer okay and this is our token okay and we can see the scope is lab here and it will be valid for uh, 360 by default it will be valid for 360 uh, sorry uh, 360 seconds uh, 3600 seconds okay so uh, valid for one hour okay so uh, uh, we'll use this token to access our actual API. Okay, so we'll copy this one here and we'll go to the actual API. Uh, in the authorization, we have to select a uh, bearer token. Okay, here we need to. Okay, and anything else? No, code is nothing. Okay, and we are able to access the API here. Okay. Uh, I'll show you if we will not use the token here, we can't access the API, okay? So, uh, as we have uh, enabled the auth and the client ID and the client secret, so we need to pass both. Uh, I'll show you the API one more time, okay? Here in the API, uh, this is our API, in the security definitions, we are having auth, client ID and the client secret and same we are using the client ID and the client secret. So uh, while accessing the API, it's mandatory. We have to pass client ID and the client secret. Okay. And in the authorization, uh, in the authorization, we have to pass uh, the auth token. Okay. Then only we will able to get the uh, uh, results of the API. Uh, so uh, this is uh, okay let's go to the data power we'll see we are we able to see the logs or no okay okay so here we are able to see this one okay so let me try one more time here okay so here we got the this one okay and let's go to the api gateway api definitions okay See, uh, we created one auth provider here, so we can see, as I told you in my last video, uh, whatever configurational change we'll make in the IP Connect, we can see here in the data power also. So we created one auth provider, so we can see here. Let's go to the API, actual API, okay. Uh, this is our API, okay. Here, uh, this is our security requirements. Let's go inside that one. So uh, here we can see that uh, client ID, okay, and this is our OAuth, okay, and this is a client secret. So all the configuration regarding the security we can see in the API uh, in the data power as well. So uh, you can see all the values here. What else? Uh, it is fine. And let's go back to the. Let's go back to the our A. Uh, I'm checking if I missed anything. Okay. So provider, uh, this is our lab auth. Okay. 
Uh, okay, if you want to introspect uh, the token, okay, uh, we have to enable this checkbox and we can introspect the token. Okay, uh, here are the token. Uh, we can uh, change the value of access token time to live. Okay, this by default is uh, 3600. Okay. Uh, and here we can manage the enable token management okay and metadata if you want to get uh, some values uh, of a token like if you want to uh, get some metadata for that token okay so we can use uh, this one okay and here is the user security scopes i showed you how we can uh, here if we have multiple scope then uh, uh, out of any scope we can make any scope as a default scope okay so such kind of configuration we can do here okay uh, configuration i showed you that uh, grant type supported plan so as per your use cases uh, you can select your grant type so uh, uh, so friend this is all about the uh, oath provider and uh, creation of oath provider and how we can use uh, an auth provider in our uh, api and how we can secure our api with the help auth token uh, so thank you guys thank you guys for watching uh, the video and if you still didn't uh, subscribe to my channel please subscribe it and please click on bell icon to get the notification of newly created uh, videos thank you guys <laughs> thank you very much and th and thank you supporting me uh, and I'll, I'll make uh, more videos to explore uh, more features of the IP Connect and Data Power B10. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you very much.